<clears throat> there we go. Perfect. Next step is to cut it out. So I'll get my handy instructions. Oh, I need some sort of marking utensil. Hopefully one of these will work. That one looks good. Okay, so it's obviously 30 inches wide, so why don't we start out with the obvious. We'll put a mark here at 15. And it claims that it's nine inches deep here. Beautiful pen. Nine inches deep. That was a little bit of sarcasm, by the way. My pen is already running out of ink. Nine and nine. And then you leave yourself another two at the other, so that makes it 11. From there, perfect. Whoa. No, it's nine. Yeah, another nine. So mark another nine or two from the bottom, whichever way you prefer to look at it. And I'm out of ink. Rather than getting upset, let's try another pen. That one doesn't work. And if anybody from the Sharpie company is watching, extremely disappointed. Okay, good enough. On there, there's slightly larger spots, but it's not so bad. So I'm going to just to make it easy on myself. Another little mark here at 15, just so I've got a guideline. And then I'm going to line these two guys up. And it says 11. So I'm going to line them up. Just put a dot at 11. There we go. Now, do, 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 do. That is supposed to be 10 inches wide. What would be the best way to accomplish that? Well, I'm going to throw caution to the wind here and I'm going to do five inch mark here, five inch mark there. And the same deal at the bottom. There. And then I'm going to line these up. And at 11 inches, I'm going to put a dot. Eleven inches, I'm going to put a dot. Oops. Eleven inches, I'm going to put a dot. And I'm going to connect this is my 10 inch line here. Nice. And... No! Yeah, you see, there's my first mistake. But if we don't mind the extra markings on the plane, and I really don't, I'm just gonna... this is supposed to be 8, not 10. So... I'm gonna do that. You're trying to indicate the two four inches. I may be missing something on this, this diagram, but oh, I see. I see. They have we connect that one from the side to the center, knowing full well that. 10 inches. If 
that. And this comes down here like so. And that looks completely wrong. That's correct. That's correct. Why does that look so awkward? Like it's completely off. It'll look better once it's joined up. Oh, there's got to be something wrong there. Oh, for... It's a good thing. Here we go. Look at this. I'm supposed to join the one that's two inches from the bottom to there. So, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Now, I come down here in the center and make another dot two inches below that line. So, you get 13 from the top. And this would be where your ailerons are. And that looks awfully awkward. Something's wrong there. Some reason this is supposed to be like this. Don't worry, I'll I'll get this straightened out on the plans that I put up exactly where these lines are, so that we don't have this confusion. I'm pretty sure that you can just discount this to be me being nervous on camera. So here's your ailerons. I'm actually going to just color them like that. Piece of cake, right? Zip, zip. We cut those. Good, good, good. Now, the only other markings I've got to do, I'm going to join the top center to these first ones that I made 11 inches from the top. Boom. And Boom. Is it starting to look like a plane? I think it is. All right, let's do some cutting. keep these two pieces. They end up being pieces on the side. Look something like like that. See these ones? Just follow this line straight through. straight through. And this one straight across between there. Put that piece up. It upstairs.
Now, I am going to put this side up, purple down, orange up. So in order to do that, later on, I'm going to actually notch these. I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm going to try and preserve this tape here, make it a nice smooth joint uh, for the control surfaces. So, that's looking good. That is looking good. So, I'm actually done with this first sheet. Now on to the second sheet.